let us analyze the quantity dl upon dt where l is the angular momentum of some particle or some body we already know that angular momentum is equal to the cross product of the position vector of the particle or the body with the momentum of the body and hence so what we can do is uh, we can substitute uh, equation number two if i call this equation number two and this as equation number one let us substitute equation number two in equation number one then we will get dl upon dt is uh, equal to d by dt of uh, r cross b now let us use the product rule over here so using product rule we will get dr upon dt cross p plus r cross dp upon dt now dr upon dt is nothing but the velocity of the body and the momentum is equal to mass times the velocity and hence uh, the velocity is obviously parallel to the momentum and hence the cross product will become zero and hence uh, we will be left with r cross what is dp upon dt dp upon dt is nothing but the force on the body and hence we'll be left with r cross f so we can see here that just like how we had defined angular momentum as the position vector cross with the momentum here we have a quantity that looks like the position vector cross with force and hence we could have called it the angular force but we decided to call it the torque and denoted with the greek letter tau so tau is torque